At family day during your kindergarten class, all the kids' parents were flipping through the notebooks their kids had put together about their families. And I came to this page. I burst into tears. That you thought I was lazy was like an arrow to my heart, like you didn't know me at all. You didn't know that when I was 47, I had assumed that I would never have any children of my own, that I was destined to be a step monster to my husband's kids. And then, much to my utter amazement and delight, I learned I was pregnant with you. This in spite of the fact that I had been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease for about 10 years and was taking many medications to control my symptoms. I often worried that since you were born after my illness had progressed to the point where I was no longer able to work as an attorney and do all the things I used to do, that you would never know the real me. Even now, you sometimes tell me how tired you are of Parkinson's. I don't blame you. I am too, and I remember being 12 and not wanting to hear about my mom's problems either. But then, just a few months ago, as we were discussing plans for your upcoming 12th birthday party, you gave me the list of who you wanted to invite. One was the girl you've been friends with for years, whose mom suffers from schizophrenia. Another was the young girl who has an autistic brother. Another's father lives in Texas while the rest of the family lives in Denver. And the last guest on your list was a young Hispanic girl whose mother is divorced from her father and who lives with her boyfriend in one large blended family. And sitting there, as we labeled the invitations together, I almost burst into tears again. Because you knew me, Abigail, and I knew you too.